that was why is it why is it important for um, faculty when they're designing their courses, whether they're online or another modality, mm -hmm. why is it important for them to provide um, information in multiple formats and different formats? Um, so for you, it sounds mm -hmm. like using Microsoft Word is really effective. Right. Um, are there other uh, formats do you think that would be beneficial for yourself or for other students? Or you know, could you just kind of talk about about that sort of design aspect of a course? I think. From what I understand, the online courses are just generalized for the general population and they're not taking consideration the students that do have some sort of disability or even students that may not be able to see color contrast. So that might be one way of looking at and to see how their courses are designed. Maybe, you know, if they went as a student on the course, because I'm not sure how it is for the student, I mean, the teach professor side, to see how it is on the student side. And maybe if they signed up for their course and took it along with the students, then they can see if there's errors in there, if it's easy for them to read, is it user friendly? Because sometimes you may run across something that may not be user friendly, um, especially if there's pictures on there, because if you have to do pictures, sometimes the readers won't pick up the pictures and they may stop and then the student, if they're totally blind, then they won't be able to, okay, they're not gonna be able to know what's there. Mm. And it may stop. Or it may just stop totally to where it won't pick up anything at all. And that kind of hinders a student if they're um, diligent with their studies and they're trying to keep up with their studies as well, and you run into these obstacles, it kind of discourages the student. So if, you know, if it was to where they could do it a little bit easier or I'm not saying change their modalities totally, but just be a little more self-conscious of getting out there and checking with the other professors and say, hey, do you have a student in your class that may have ADD or ADHD? Or do you have a concern of a student saying, I have a hard time seeing the different colors on the modalities? Just asking questions from their colleagues would also help them help their students.